I am going to show you really quickly how to use two online writing tools. Uh, the first is called Hemingway. Um, it's named after Ernest Hemingway, the famous author who is uh, known for simplicity of style. Uh, this is at the URL HemingwayApp.com. And uh, when you click into that app, that website link, um, it will take you to this page. This is what you will see. Uh, it gives you a little bit of information about what the app does, and, uh, and it will sort of um, highlight things in your text um, by color. And these are the colors that it's looking for. Uh, you'll notice over here on the left hand side, sorry, on the right hand side of the page, um, there's a readability level, uh, word count, and so on. There are also these two options up here, write and edit. It defaults when you start to edit, but you can also click write and it will give you a nice clean um, place to, to draft your work. So what I'm going to ask you to do is to um, pull in your draft response essay. Um, I'm going to pull in some sample writing from a student. Uh, this is from a rhetorical analysis essay uh, from several years ago. And um, here is the student's essay. So I've just sort of copied and pasted it in here. Uh, so let's take a look at the editing suggestions. All right. So you'll notice that this says readability is at grade 14. And Hemingway says this is poor. You want to aim for ninth grade. Uh, I'm not so sure you want to, you know, follow this to the letter <laughs> because uh, you are writing for a college level class. So, you know, keep that in mind um, and keep that in mind, especially because, you know, Hemingway is known for having very, very short sentences, very, very clear um, um, points in his sentences. So, um, so keep that in mind. Uh, but what I wanted to show you is that the uh, editor will suggest places for improvement. So the blue are uh, notices of adverbs, and you want to aim for a few adverbs. Okay? So here it's pointed out that this is an adverb, uh, and it suggests maybe using a more forceful verb. Um, but in the context of this um, um, essay that the student is writing about, slowly is important. Right? So who knows? Um, there are several uses of the passive voice. Those are in green. Okay? So for instance, here is a passive voice was published. Uh, in the Atlantic, um, you could revise this to um, Kendi published the article in the Atlantic. Kendi published the article in the Atlantic. Okay. Lewis's speech are shared by Kendi. Okay. This is a good example of a problematic passive voice um, that should be revised. Um, Kendi shares excerpts from Lewis's speech, right? And analyzes them through the lens of America's current racial climate. Okay, good. Um, so, you know, you can see the, the point. Um, the, the sort of purplish color here, four phrases have simpler alternatives. So if I wanna look for those, here's one. In addition, may not need that. Um, uh, in the, the yellow, it's pointing out that several sentences are hard to read, uh, and the pink uh, sh shows sentences that are very hard to read. So you can use your own point of view, your own um, perspective in assessing your writing, uh, but this is meant to give you a bit of a clue to where you are in your work so far. Okay, so that's Hemingway. Uh, there is another app. Uh, that you may have heard of called Grammarly, and you can go to that um, website here, grammarly.com. You will have to sign up. Um, it's a little bit, um, you know, it's a little clunky to sign up because they really want to get you onto the paid version, uh, but, um, but you can figure it out. I have all the faith in the world in you. So sign up, um, it's free, uh, and I already have an account, so I'm gonna log in. Okay. And once you've gotten your account and you're logged in, you'll see this sort of landing page, okay? Uh, this checklist here, you can ignore or you can take a quick tour if you want. I don't want it here, so I'm just gonna ignore it. Um, this will give you, a, uh, this um, demo document will sort of show you what it does. Uh, it will look for things like um, correctness, clarity, engagement, delivery, and some premium suggestions. The premium suggestions you have to pay for. If you click it, it will give you a little hint, okay? Uh, inappropriate colloquialisms, word choice, text inconsistent, so much more 
complex and difficult writing style issues. Um, so, you know, keep that in mind. Uh, there is uh, there is a paid version. It's quite pricey, but it will give you some more information. But this will give you enough to get started, okay? So I'm going to go back to my home page and I'm going to click New. Uh, you can either upload a document or copy and paste. So I'm just going to copy and paste. Um, you can set some goals and this will give you tailored uh, suggestions. So is my audience a general audience or a knowledgeable audience? Um, is, it, is your level of formality what? Well, I don't necessarily want it to be informal, but I'm not sure I want it to be super formal either, maybe just neutral. Um, this is much more uh, specialized, so this is a premium um, feature. And then intent, this is sort of experimental. This is a, a new thing that they're trying to do. So anyway, um, let's uncheck that. Okay, great. So here's my sample document. And you, you'll notice a few things right off the bat that it doesn't tell me that this is um, um, unclear, whereas the Hemingway app did. It said it's, it's very difficult to read. Okay, so Grammarly has a, you know, a different algorithm. Um, it, is, it points out that there is a little bit of lack of clarity, right? and here are some places that might improve that. Okay, so for instance, in concision here, the same radical change um, still needs to happen. So we actually don't, actually don't need the word actually. I'm going to cut that. Um, and here's another one who is, article can be read by anyone, but Kenny's main audience is... Um, anyone who is aware of and curious uh, about the effects of racial injustice. Um, main audience is readers is curious, politically aware readers. Okay. Who maybe who wants, who wants to learn about racial injustice and maybe instead of today we could say contemporary racial injustice in light of the past okay uh, so now my clarity level has gone up to very clear um, it gives me some engagement um, ideas, and if I if I want to click on that and get suggestions, I have to you know go premium. But delivery correctness, okay. So here are some suggestions for correcting my um, grammar, uh, and um, you can see how this works. Okay, so it will highlight things for you, and then you can go and take a look at them. Now uh, remember, it's not giving you everything, and um, and you know the the computer is not going to be as smart as the human brain when it comes to language. Uh, and that's one reason why Grammarly is so expensive. <laughs> um, but, uh, but I hope that this helps. It should give you a bit of um, uh, a bit of a new way to approach revision in your writing. But, uh, but the most important thing is for you to uh, learn about your own writing habits. Uh, and that's something that I want you to uh, begin to notice when you are revising your work.